class. Once again, good afternoon. Before we proceed with Experiment 6, Procedure A, let's proceed first with Experiment 6, Procedure B. Okay, so we have here now our potassium chlorate crystals. We will subject that to strong heating. Try to observe. Okay, as we place this under a strong heat, Eventually, note what will happen to our potassium chlorate. This is quite an explosive substance, so we have to be careful in handling this. This, uh, this can find its way as some of the active ingredients in making explosives and some firecrackers. Okay. You could notice our potassium chlorate, na, chlorate crystals has started to melt. Okay, try to note the vapor created as heating continues. So in a little while, we'll be placing in a splinter inside the evaporating potassium chlorate. Okay, try to note the fumes starting to arise as heating continues. Okay, so we can see our potassium chlorate starting to boil and vaporize. Okay, take a closer look as I place a splinter. A splinter is a wooden, is, can be made out of this wooden stick. And I will ignite this in a little while to create such a glowing splinter. Okay, let's do that. Okay, I am now repairing the splinter. Okay. Okay, the potassium flow rate now has started to... Okay. See what happens to the splinter as we place it inside the tube. Okay, see that? Okay. So one more time, let's boil this potassium chlorate crystal and see the reaction of the splinter, glowing splinter, as we place it inside the tube. See that? Okay. Okay. One more time. Okay. Okay. So, what happened to our glowing splinter as we insert this inside the evaporating potassium chlorate? Okay. Okay. 